So this test is called the squat test and in it we're assessing your squat movement. This gives us a lot of information about what's going on around your hips, around your pelvis and your lumbar spine. So really this whole middle third and how it's moving. So go ahead and have your feet about shoulder width apart, your hands out in front of you. And from there, you're going to squat down, putting the pressure on the heels into what we call a posterior squat. So you're trying to keep your spine angle similar to your shin angle, not letting the knees go too far beyond the toes. Getting the hips down so that your knee is on almost at 90 degrees, but your, part, your, your quad is parallel to the floor. So if you're able to do this, keeping your heels on the floor, keeping a good spinal angle, no pain, not too much stiffness, score yourself a three. People who struggle with this very often, the spine goes anterior. So as you go down, the spine's going forward, it's difficult to get the hips down, sometimes the heels come off the floor. If that's happening, score yourself a two. And if in any of these movements you have pain in or out of the low back, the hips, um, score yourself a one. Okay guys, so this next one now okay, is for your squat test. So again, if you scored low on the squat test, there's a few wee exercises that will help you out, okay? First thing we're going to do is turn this into an assisted squat, okay? So I have a band anchored off our wall here. But basically what you guys can do is use a long bath towel, okay? And loop it around uh, your door handle. Just make sure obviously the door is closed tight, okay? So it's just going to give us a bit of an anchor, okay? To really assist the movement. So. You're going to be standing nice and square to your door, right? And you're going to be holding on to the towel. Now, try and don't grip it too tight. Remember, this is just an assist, okay? So don't grip it too tightly. So a nice, light grip. Again, same as the, uh, the assessment, okay? Same as the test. We want to stand with the feet about shoulder width apart, okay? Try and have your feet reasonably forward for this, okay? Try and make sure that they're not too turned out. Just make sure, guys, okay, that the two feet are the same, all right? So ideally try and get them to use two feet point at 12 o'clock, okay? So from there, guys, okay? Same thing as the test. We're gonna be using this as a bit of an assist. We're gonna start to slowly go down. Remember, back out in the hips as much as you can. Really keep the weight through the heels, even if the toes curl up, guys, that's okay. So we're gonna to start to squat down, all right? Work hard on keeping that back angle. Again, I'm lightly holding on, all right? Try and get, again, if you can, do at least parallel in the squat. Take about a three second hold at the bottom, really try and feel what it's like to be in that position. Push the feet through the ground, coming back up, squeezing through the glutes to the top. So again, you're going to back out. All right, nice and slow. Keep these movements slow at the start, guys, while you're trying to retrain the movement. Back up nice and straight. And stand up again, okay? So again, just really get the, get the feel of that movement, okay? Get, can I get the... Get to feel what it's like whenever you're moving the body in that way, all right? Now, once you get comfortable with that, all right, what you want to do then, okay, I have a squat board here. Listen to a bit of four by two, even two, two books of reasonable fitness, two gym plates, okay? Something, guys, is going to prop up your heels, okay? Now, what this is going to do, okay, a couple of things. It's going to help out a wee bit into the ankle book mobility, but it is going to help us out, okay, to be able to get down that wee bit more posterior into this squat, okay? So... Same setup, guys. Feet about shoulder width apart. Again, think of this here. Think that you have this here, okay? Because again, remember, we really want to avoid getting that back starting to, to tip forward, all right? So, weight through your heels, okay? Starting to back out. Nice and slow descent down. Really work hard in that back angle. Slightly pause at the bottom. And then pushing back up again, okay? So again, nice and slow. Really try and get through the heels. Do this nice and slow, guys. Slightly pause at the bottom, pushing back up again. Okay, so again, working your way into about three, four sets of ten reps. Do no harm as you're doing these movements, guys, to either video video yourself doing the movement so that you can kind of you can see how you're moving, okay, and see how you're progressing then as you go on. All right, um, but as I say, just work your way into that, guys. Three, four sets of ten of, of each of those movements. All right, best of luck.